In today's video, I'm turning some sketches nice and glowy and sort of explain to you how in the process. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you've seen these kind of glowy sketches all over the place on Instagram because it's been kind of a trend. And I thought, why not try this and sort of show you guys how it's done? I asked my boy Linus to draw me some very cool sketches and he did not disappoint, obviously in the apocalypse theme. Here is some of the process and if you want to see the whole thing, make sure to check out his video. There are a few different kinds of these glowy edits. First off, you have to kind where the subject itself is glowing, like these, for example. But then sometimes the light source is external, casting light onto the subjects. I'm gonna try both today, because we're lit like that. Let's drop the first one in Photoshop. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in Photoshop, and this is the first one we are going to do. It's a nice zombie. First of all, the absolute most important thing is making sure it's nice and dark. Now, as you can see, I'm using levels for that. Most of all, we just wanna make it darker, and I'm gonna add a bit of color contrast as well kind of like this i would say that is pretty good we can always make it darker later then the first thing what you want to do for this nice glow effect is make a new solid color because we're gonna have to determine where the glowy parts are i'm gonna go with green because i seem to really like uh, green for some reason then i'm gonna draw over his eye because i think his eye is a nice place for the glow to be this doesn't have to be all too precise just very quick then using blend if i'm bringing back these black lines because those are nice to keep and now as you can see you're kind of painting below the lines which is exactly what we need and the second eye right here beautiful and then let's see let's also do the teeth because those seem nice to be glowy as well just like that this is not very difficult at all it's just painting some stuff now that we determined the glowy areas, I'm gonna add an exposure adjustment layer. Clip that to the green, and as you make that lighter, you can see it turns kinda yellow, and that's exactly what we wanna do. Then that highlight, you only wanna show kind of in the middle of the glowy areas, so it's uh, very, you know, bright in the middle, and a bit darker at the sides, just like that. Same goes for the eyes, just a bit in the middle there. Ooh, that is nice. That is really nice. Let's call that layer source. Now the second thing you want to do is make yet another solid color that is the same sort of color you had before and set that blend mode to linear dodge add. Now what we want to do first I'm going to make the overall glow kind of the lens glow so to speak which is kind of just the main glow so I'm going to paint just a little bit over the eyes just like so make it bigger and then kind of click and as you can see that creates this nice glowy effect already then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side just make it continuously bigger and keep clicking and then you've got this nice effect same goes for the teeth just kind of overlaying some nice uh yeah well glow just like that i feel like that's pretty good so this is before this is after very nice and now this next part is the tricky part for most i would say again duplicate that glow layer because we're going to make some more glows and these are going to be the uh, local glows so to speak basically what you want to do now is light up all the areas that should be lit up but before you do that first paint then open blend if right here and make sure you can see the black lines again because that's very important for this one then hit okay remove this again and now we can start painting for reals make sure the flow is very low because this has to be very soft then you can just kind of paint all around the these areas basically you have to ask yourself what areas does this glow reach the back of his head probably not but the areas in front of here for example probably will so let's see i'm just kind of making this nice subtle glow right here just like that i suppose this is pretty much just a guess i'm not really sure what this should look like but uh, i suppose something like this is pretty good and then a little bit right here to make those pieces stand out a little bit too and then when you zoom out you can kind of see the effect emerging however right now i think Think the background is a bit too bright so let's go back into the levels layer and make it just a bit darker and as you can see as you make it darker it's gonna be more uh vibrant and it really depends some people like it very bright still so you can really see the drawing properly i prefer it a bit darker like this we just have to finish all these glowy areas and it's uh, it's a bit of a guess like i said before but uh i'm sure you'll manage this is as close to a tutorial you're gonna get from me so i guess enjoy it while it lasts because i swore an oath to not make tutorial <laughs> no i'm just kidding i would say this is starting to look pretty cool then of course the teeth are also glowy so we need to make these areas nice and bright as well very very epic look at that i can't believe it took me so long to make this video though because glows is like typical benny production 
reasons you can say. And so this is literally a perfect thing for me to make a video about. Now that is looking pretty sick. I think maybe it would be cool if we add some more cracks right up here, just kind of like that. Then now the whole thing is pretty much green. So you can do the same exact thing we did earlier with an exposure adjustment layer. Put that on the glow you just made. And as you can see, when you make it brighter, it turns a bit yellow and that's what we want. Let's invert that again and then kind of paint on some desired areas, a bit around the eyes, I suppose. Basically the brightest areas need a bit of yellow in it and decrease it a little bit. So it's very subtle. And then at the very top, you can again make it a bit brighter, just like this. Then going into blend if and remove it from the shadows, just like so. So you only see it at the very very bright areas like this decrease it just a tad kind of like that yeah that's pretty cool so really you're just completely free to make as many glow layers as you want until you have the perfect result a fun little finishing touch which i personally like since we have some stuff lying around here maybe we can add a bit of a green highlight on these as well since this technically is light so as you can see this creates this nice kind of uh, cohesiveness between these elements and the drawing but of course your drawing may not have this so i guess you can forget about it then then finally you can always decide to add a camera raw filter or some other cool filters effects that you want because sometimes that will just make it a bit more you know epic i mean look at this then it can look something like this and i feel like that is then pretty much the effect we wanted this is before this is after very epic now let's continue to the next one very very epic now i want to make one where the light source is external so let's use this for that very very cool apocalyptic gas mask that lean has made so let's drop this in photoshop for this one we're going to do an external light source so let's see first of all we're going to make it darker again just like that and now i guess we can go with a nice warm yellow orange kind of tone like this and let's put that on linear dodge add again and we can go and paint you kind of have to decide where the light is coming from but for me it's gonna come from the left so first i'm kind of painting right here then of course don't forget to go into blend if and make sure we're painting below the blacks there you go very good and then you kind of just have to make a highlight really i would say this is no different than the highlight from any other artwork you have so uh yeah well it's pretty much the exact same thing to be fair just like this don't worry too much on the excess stuff we're gonna remove that later we're also gonna bring in some more color later so really just focus on the shape of your you know light because you probably already noticed this one is more light than glow really those are two different things then let's make this thing very very bright and for the sort of lens itself we can just make it absolutely completely colored because that's looking straight into the light that's casting onto it there you go see that looks pretty good then afterwards we want to do this where we just kind of erase it from the background again just like so and then that kind of looks like that see that is uh, very very nice actually and we want some more down here as well this obviously depends on your drawing some drawings have completely different shapes different lighting issues so I, I suppose try to do what's best for yours. Now, when you have a shape you're happy with, you can kind of tweak the color and see what that does. You can make it a bit more. I mean, you can really pick any color you want. As you can see, blue is also pretty nice. I, however, want to stick with this kind of orange, I suppose. And same thing as before, add an exposure adjustment layer to make it a bit more yellow. Then hide it and paint on the brightest areas of all. Just like that. Very nice. Very subtle, though. Then also, you can put another exposure layer on top. Once again, remove it from the shadows using blend if. And then only show it kind of... Uh, uh, on the bright places and then of course on top you can add another glow like this to make it a bit more hazy and a bit more you know glowy so to speak really just glowy that's exactly what it is just kind of all over the place whatever works for your specific drawing there's no formula it's just uh what works best and i feel like this is pretty good now i personally want to try this again with another color on the right side so it's this kind of split tone i think that could be very cool so i'm just gonna try doing the same thing on the other side it's a bit less complicated on this side so i guess it won't take nearly as long like that very nice then we can kind of make that brighter by adding some exposure that looks very nice i would say this one looks better than the previous one and then again on top you can always add a bit of a more global glow global <laughs> to make it extra nice and glowy and hazy and just nice in general there you go i love the way that looks let's try adding a camera raw filter because i think for this one that could do a whole lot actually now would you look at that that's so nice and vibrant and well there you go i guess that is pretty much it for this one then now this effect you can apply to literally any kind of sketch and to showcase i'll just uh, do a bunch and kind of show you
And there you go, those are the ones uh, I made today. It's pretty fun to do this, not gonna lie, it's, uh, it's something else, but then I guess that is it for today. If you like this video, make very sure to leave a like and subscribe, and then I hope I'll see you in my next vi- In my next video.